What's up guys? This is Coach LaRussa from MakePlays.com welcoming you back to our seventh week of Film Room Fridays. Today we'll break down five-star point guard and Alabama commit Colin Sexton. From unranked to unstoppable, that's the headline for five-star Colin Sexton. But just a year ago, he wasn't a five-star or anything. Well, let me take that back. He was. We just didn't know it yet. It all started in Brooklyn for the first session of the EYBL. And after the first night, we saw the stats and said, wow, who is this Colin Sexton kid? He dropped 35 tonight. Fast forward 12 months and he's the sixth ranked player in the nation. He earned MVP for USA Basketball and he's the McDonald's All-American. So how does this even happen? It takes a certain type of dude to pull that off, but hey, that's why they call him Young Bull. Today's game is all about tempo, and Colin Sexton knows how to control it. He's dynamic in the open floor, and he's very good at getting to his spots. It doesn't matter if he's pushing the ball himself or filling the lanes ahead. Once he gets the ball, he simply knows how to get a bucket. He can dance on the rims or take flight for an acrobatic layup. His body control allows him to take contact and his touch allows him to finish in traffic. He can get from one end of the floor to the other in four dribbles or less and in less than four seconds, putting tremendous pressure on the defense. In the half court, Colin makes his money by attacking the basket. He's got a ridiculous ability to finish around the rim, often using reverse layups to avoid shot blockers. Whether it's an in and out dribble, a hard rip through, or a hesitating go, he's very explosive attacking with his left hand. And once he takes flight, he's got hang time, body control, and the ability to finish with either hand. He's got a number of finishes around the rim as well. He uses a two foot finish for more control, an acrobatic one foot finish, or a quick two footed floater to shoot over the defense. This makes him hard to predict and tough to defend. So far we've seen that he's able to break down defenders and attack the paint. And it's no secret that attacking is his first option. But make no mistake, Colin can heat up from beyond the arc. He shot 33% from three in the EYBL, which many of you will say isn't that impressive. But he's the type of shooter that once he hits one, he can come back and hit several in a row. This ability to heat up keeps the defense honest and with good shot mechanics, his overall percentage will likely increase with time. It also plays into the mental game. The D knows he'll pull it, so he keeps them on their toes, never knowing when he'll pull up or drive. Split back courts and combo guards is where the game is at, so Colin's ability to play the one or the two makes him twice as valuable. When playing off the ball, he's got a knack for finding gaps and moving without the ball. I probably say this every week, and it's probably because it's true. You can't average 32 points per game without doing the dirty work. Grabbing offensive boards takes toughness. It takes heart. Do you think the game owes you something? Or do you hunt like a dog for anything and everything you can scrap up? I'll take the latter, because to win a dog fight, you gotta be a dog. And Colin Sexton has that dog in him. Somebody has probably told you at one point in time not to put all your eggs in one basket. Well that concept is true in the game of basketball as well. Like I said before, you can't average 32 points per game on just jumpers and drives. Highlight plays account for less than half of total production. Just ask Kobe. But in Collins situation, free throws account for 36% of his total scoring production. That's an average of 12 points per game from the line. What does it really mean to be clutch? Does it mean you got lucky at just the right time? In my opinion, the clutch factor comes down to two things. A high level of confidence combined with zero fear of failure. MJ didn't make the game winner every time. He just believed he'd make the game winner every time. Believing can take you a long way. And no matter where you've been, you never know when you'll end up in the top 10. Thanks for checking out today's breakdown of Colin Sexton. Next week, we'll be on the road for the AAU circuit, so we won't release an episode then, but the following Friday, we'll be right back at it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.